Your report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms to command. Cat needs your help running a counter-op. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make him proud. Hello everybody and welcome to the 8th mission of my Halo Reach Legendary Water Guide. Today we'll be doing the mission New Alexandria. Now this mission is fairly simple, it just can be a little tedious because of how long this mission is, but the general gist of the mission is wherever Cat tells you to go, you go. There are three main areas that you will be going, it will be Synoviet Center, which is the building on my left that just went out of frame, then there's the uh, Club Herrera, then there is the hospital. The hospital is the, probably the most difficult one in this entire mission, the rest of these are cakewalk. Uh, Club Herrera will require a little bit of skill, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a moment. The first one in my, uh, and by the way, this is all completely randomized. It, your first, uh, your first comm jam might be, might be different than mine, uh, but the general strategy is going to be the same. So as you saw here, we, are, since we got Synoviet Center first, uh, when you do get Synoviet Center, you're going to angle your Falcon to get into the courtyard just like that, uh, just like how I did it earlier on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use the Falcon to clear out the courtyard with relative ease. Like, other than this EMP, the rest of this is... It, it, it should be simple. Waste a little bit of time there, but I mean, can't really do much with a, with an EMP like that. I'm gonna kill the last grunt right over there. Then we are going to fly over to where the uh, waypoint is and we're gonna get out of the Falcon, go into the elevator, and then we're gonna ride it all the way up to where the comm jammer is. Now, a few, few banshees just flying around out there. Uh, that method is 100% of the time. If you do this, you will be completely fine. Um, to get to the comm jammer, take it to the right. This beginning part doesn't really matter. You can explore this area if you want to. Um, but for the sake of this, we're just going to go over there, turn off the comm jammer, and then we're going to rush right on back after we hit that. So, spoiler alert, there is going to be the uh, buggers that are coming out right here. Uh, but we are going to actually kill this guy. You could run past him without any problem, but we want this plasma pistol that he dropped. And I'm trying to find it. There it is. And then we're just going to run all the way back over to the elevator. I tried to kill this this bugger, but I was kind of like, uh, why didn't you lunge into it? But it should be fine. Like, there should be... Synovia Center is the easiest one out of them all in this entire mission. Like, you... There's, like, 99.9% .9 of the time... You will get past the Noviet Center because it is extremely, and I mean that, it is extremely easy. Now to get out, it's much easier than it was to get in into the Noviet Center. All you do is, is you just kind of descend. Plenty of banshees around. Now in between the comm jammer and the like, in between when Cat gets to those comm jammers, you will have little mini objectives that you're supposed to be doing. So. Like, after Synoviet Center, you will get a mini objective to go rescue some Marines uh, from Hunters, Banshees, or Rescue Buck, or whatever. It's a, There's quite a few variations, um, but basically, you go over there, do the objective really quick. If you don't really care about the, the Marines, you could. Like, speedrunners do this all the time. They kind of just kill the Marines, and then they move on to the next objective. Uh, you can do it that way. Um, I just like to keep the Marines alive for the sake of the walkthrough. Because that's what a majority of you guys will be wanting anyway. All of you guys will be doing that pretty much. Now, Club Herrera is just right outside of frame, right above my... There it is. It's that center area. and um, I'm just going to tell you that's the next area that we are going to be going to. If you were going to go to the hospital, it's all the way across the map where you see that orange light that is on the right side of the frame that just went out. Um... Either or, if you got Synoviet Center first, those are your only two options. Um, if you do go to Club Herrera first, uh, which is what I was thinking it was going to be, I was kind of like, well, I know this is Club Herrera, I'm just going to destroy these shade turrets. So that's why I am, like, nobody's in those shade turrets quite yet, so it's, so I'm, that's why I'm just kind of shooting them. Anyways, make sure you keep an eye on your uh, motion tracker for those banshees. You don't really want to get caught out with a bunch of banshees nearby. Alright, so if you hear about 2-7, you are going to be going to Club Herrera. Club Herrera is uh, not too far away from Synoviet Center. Um, you will use the 
same thing that we kind of did in Synovia Center. Use the Falcon, clear the landing zone, and then go into Club Herrera. Now, the difficulty about Club Herrera is that there is four, um, that there are four hunters inside, and two of them block your path to the jammer. Now, I, I decided to simply run on past. There is plenty of arms uh, to be able to actually kill the hunters, but I have found it is simpler to just kind of run right on past them. All right, so here's here's kind of the way to do it if you're gonna try to skip if you're if you're gonna try to run past the hunters. So first things first is you don't want to alert any of the enemies inside. You want to be able to you want to stick to the right, hide behind these pillars. And hope that these hunters are continuously aggroed on those marines. Right here, I got extremely lucky. I thought the hunter was going to kill me. I hit the jammer. I actually barely escaped getting uh, getting out of here alive. Uh, but if you really just uh, if you if you want to run on past, uh, it is completely possible. Um, I would say eight out of ten times you should be able to make it past without dying. Um, but those those two times, like it, it's it's really just if RNG likes you or not at that point. So since we did Club Herrera and Sunoviet Center already, the last one is the hospital. But first, we have to do the um, the next mini objective, which is to I believe it's going to be rescue some Marines from hunters. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, defend uh, rescue Marines from hunters side objective. Going to try to take out as many of these banshees as possible. We don't want to get swarmed by them. Alright, got a few of these banshees taken out now. Alright, and the cool thing about this uh, this objective that they gave us is they were really, really nice to give us it right next to Club Herrera, which we were just at. I'm going to light up these hunters with this falcon right here. Unfortunately, I did not see this shade turret that just came into frame, and I... I my uh, falcon got kind of punished here and it's going to get shot at in a moment oh, I, I guess I was able to avoid it for now because I saw it shooting at me and I was like okay whatever. but I'm pretty sure in a few moments you'll see me take a little bit of damage because I tried to destroy the shade turret but I didn't um, I, yeah right here yeah I got absolutely bombarded by, it, by that shade turret but we destroyed it that's the good news now these hunters, since I've been roasting them so hard the entire, like, for, for a while now, they, they kind of just fell over after I destroyed the shade turret. Uh, destroying, uh, killing the two hunters there that are giving the marines trouble, that will cause the objective to be completed. Um, if you also kill the marines instead, that completes the objective as well. So, again, if, if you want to pull speedrunner and, and kill the marines that you're supposed to be defending, feel free. Do it. That, that'll save some time and like if you if you did that you could save possibly two three minutes simply simply because you said uh, screw you marines I don't really feel like rescuing you today now one second gotta continuously fight off these banshees that, that's the like a lot of this is kind of just making sure that you like fight the banshees that are the closest to you like don't like try to kill every single banshee you see but definitely the ones that get a little too close for comfort you should you should uh, try to destroy now cat just told us that we need to go to the uh, to destroy the jammer at the hospital um, the hospital is the most difficult one the hospital is the most difficult one because it is the most you have to traverse throughout the entire um, throughout the entire mission um, this one we're going to be taking a lot more time than uh, Club Herrera and Synoviet Center but it, it's really not as difficult as you might think we just have to be a little bit more careful um, it, it's just yeah it's just about being careful making sure that we land nice and soft gonna get out of the Falcon so initially, when you get inside of the hospital, nobody knows you're here. So you can kill as many of these, uh, you can assassinate as many of these grunts as you would like. Or you can shoot them, like, if you feel like it. I thought I was going to be able to make it through this part uh, undetected, but I got completely, uh, I got caught. And the 
Uh, grunts nearly killed me, so that was that was close. There is health. There are health packs littered throughout each floor if you need them. Uh, there is also the drop shield, which will replenish your uh, your health to full um, if you use the ability. Um, I, I recommend if you have difficulty uh, not taking damage to use the drop shield. That way you uh, that way you always have full health. The only bad part is is like you you don't move fast. But yeah, uh, but the strategy for the hospital that you want to be employing is, is you want to make sure that you kill as many of these enemies before you go down as possible. Um, they, the, the angle at which they're shooting you, they have a um, a worse angle than you. You have better vantages, essentially, is is the correct terminology. So you're gonna want to uh, keep keep that in your mind as you are uh, traversing the area. Now that plus 261 is actually the engineer that I blew up and I didn't even know I blew up the engineer until I went all the way down at the very very bottom and uh, saw its uh, saw its corpse just kind of chilling there. Now there's that bu uh, there's the bubble shield that I was talking about. We're going to try to take out all the enemies on the ground floor here. There is one I think one or two brute captains at the very bottom with all these grunts but we're trying to kill the captain the grunts aren't really that big of a deal um, another thing there are plenty of there's plenty of DMR ammo around the area um, some of it is is kind of difficult to find but if you look down on the ground there's plenty of it uh, around um, just make sure that you, you keep your am like keep an eye on your ammo making sure that we slowly traverse keeping an eye on this glass trying to shoot this one grunt who just does not want to die there we go all right there's another health pack right here we're going to grab that more dmr ammo on the floor right in front of us and then there's that brute captain looks like there's only one brute captain that you're going to have to worry about now anytime you fight brutes and you have a needle, uh, like a needler type of weapon, like a needler, a needle rifle, you're going to want to pick that up because the super combine per affects them worse than, like, since it doesn't take a lot for them to be super combine. You don't have to really worry about those shields like elites have. So it, it's easier to kill brutes than it is to kill elites because they don't have shields. Especially with this needle rifle, it's it's spectacular when they blow up. Got just two more down here. I think we have more than two, but there's two out right here on the right. Trying to get the last shot off right there. Keeping Bloom in check. I'm missing my shots. Missing my shots. I am awful. Got three brutes and all of them are near death. Just gonna pop his helmet off. There's that first one. Got his helmet off. Three in a row. I don't understand how it was that difficult, but I mean, it. it, it I, I don't. I don't know what to say anymore. All right. There's, I believe, two more brutes. One brute captain. One, not a brute captain. And then there's that engineer at the very, very back. And they're not brute captains. Look at that. It's just regular brutes. I'm going to try to get up here. Get that DMR ammo right here on the floor. Going to... We took out its shields. And then boom. Nice. Alright. Don't waste your DMR on an engineer. Just use your plasma pistol. Take it out. Pretty simple. Easy. All right. Once you turn off the jammer, head right on back. Don't really worry about anything else, but pick up this plasma rifle on the floor right here. There we go. This plasma rifle is going to be extremely useful in killing the special obsoletes that you see right here. We're going to use this to pepper their shields and use the DMR to, uh, to basically finish them off. Normally, you would want to use a plasma pistol versus elites. But the plasma rifle is good in this aspect that we don't have to work. Uh, we don't have to. Um, we don't have to wait for the overcharge to. Uh, we don't have to wait for the overcharge 
as much as we have to wait for. Um, sorry, let me let me uh, go ba uh, backtrack on that. So the plasma pistol, when you use an overcharged shot, uh, will overheat. The plasma rifle, you're able to do much more damage in a shorter amount of time, and your gun doesn't overheat. The plasma pistol also has the risk of you don't get the uh, like. What if you miss a shot with that EMP? Now you wasted 15 15 percent of the of the battery simply, and you didn't get the shot off. Whereas the plasma rifle here, and I'm doing just as much damage as I normally would be doing with the plasma pistol, and I'm doing, uh, and I'm, I'm still getting r results. So the plasma rifle is a good option towards these uh, lower shielded enemies like the special obsoletes here with, with jetpacks. You don't even have to make their shields flare completely. Like, you don't have their shields to be, to be gone like that. You could flare it up, like, just enough and then pop them with the DMR, but that Marine kind of just took a shot to the face. Going to, and you're going to want to make sure that you burst fire the um, the plasma rifle. You don't want to sit there and uh, like full on, fully automatic, like an AR with your your plasma rifle. That's it's not going to be as effective. So make sure that you are basically keeping an eye on your shots, making them and and making them count. That that's really what what matters. But that's that's really the most difficult part about this mission is those are, are those elites and basically the entirety of uh, coming down to this area to turn off the jammer and then like this this last guy right here this there's two jackals uh, marksmen up there they are uh, but killing the elite ultra right here so everything from the beginning when we got into the hospital to killing this guy that's the difficult part once you kill the elite ultra it's it's pretty much like the hospital is pretty much done for you guys. It's and if the hospital is your last part in the mission, that's awesome. That means the only thing that you have to really worry about is staying alive with your Falcon. And when we get to that point, I'll explain what to do. It's really, really easy. After you get this point, you should be able to finish the mission unless RNG just completely screws you and you get like eight thousand banshees just completely just like peppering your your Falcon and you you blow up and it that 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 does happen and. It, and it sucks, here, but it's very rare. That's the good news. Like you can see here, my Falcon's uh, kind of kind of damaged, and we're gonna be able to just like even if your Falcon is damaged, you should be able to do this next part with with relative ease. Now, with all the comm jammers down, you will be going back to the Oni building. Now. The only thing that you have to worry about when you get to the Oni building is the six long-range shade turrets that are going to be dropped off by a bunch of uh, by a bunch of phantoms. So the way to do this is to fly as high as the Falcon will let you, and then shoot down on each area where the fa uh, where the uh, long-range shade turrets are at. This will help you in two ways. Number one, the long-range shade turrets will not they will not target you. Number two, the Banshees are going to be so distracted by whatever else is going on that they won't target you as well. However, they will get close, and you don't want them to get too close because then they will aggro you. So from this point, we're roughly 2,300 feet in the air. Or 2,300 meters. We, I don't really know. They don't give me a unit there, but besides the point. You want to use the fan, uh, this, this Falcon and shoot each of these long-range shade turrets and you don't want your your uh, targeting reticle to be blocked by the uh, by the nose of the falcon. You kind of want to make sure that you keep your camera view um, able to see the the shade turret that you're shooting at. And once you destroy all these shade turrets, it's it's very much just a cakewalk to the, to just land your falcon. It, it, again, very very it's a very very simple area. I got kind of camera screwed there in a, for a moment there. Had a banshee here target me. I'm gonna, gonna take that out really quick. Got this long range shade turret right here. Taking that out. The last one's over here. Uh, try to eliminate that. But again, banshees. If you do get shot up by banshees, you're gonna want to change your target immediately to to uh, kill the banshees. All right, taking out the one nearest to me instead of the one that isn't shooting at me. Here we go. And the final shade turret right here. Going to eliminate that. If you have to fly a little closer, because this is the last one, I don't I don't mind. 
Uh, but you're going to want to make sure that you keep an eye out for these phantoms, these, these banshees. Make sure that you're targeting whoever is the closest to you. And sometimes you don't even have to worry about them because they're not going to be aggroed on you. But once you get told to land on the, the dock, that's the end of the mission. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I'll see you guys next time for the package. Look at this place. Used to be the crown jewel. Hmm. Not anymore. Hey, you made it. It's a regular family reunion. Keep him. I gave him to you. I'll honor him my own way. George always said he would never leave Reach. <laughs> oh, the big man was sentimental. He gave his life thinking he'd just save the planet. We should all be so lucky. Sir, that true about Gauntlet Red and Echo teams assigned to civilian evac ops? Those are senior level communiques. I hear what I hear. Point is, why put Spartans on defensive deployments? I need that link to SATCOM, Cat. Chasing it. But this console's got more shrapnel in it than transceivers. You didn't answer my question. You want to know if we're losing? I know we're losing. I want to know if we've lost. Colonel Holland, hailing us. What's he doing on an open channel? Let's hear it. In the southwest quadrant of the city. Over. Sierra 259. If you are receiving, I am authorizing override of radio security protocols to link with this channel. How long for a secure link? I can't guarantee secure anymore. Could Covenant trace it to us? I could. Noble leader, this is a priority one hail. If you are receiving, acknowledge immediately. Keep it brief. Carter here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We got movement. Multiple Covenant vehicles vacating the area. And they're in a hurry. How often you see Covenant retreat for no reason? Radiation flare. Big. 40 million root guns. Just lost Holland. What's going on? Atomic excitement scrambled the signal. 90 million now. Source? Airborne. Close. How close? That close! First glassing? Me too. Don't worry, I'm on it. Our best option is a fallout bunker on sub-level 2. 96 meters northeast. We get orders from Holland, sir? We're being redeployed to Sword Base. Sword? Covenant own it now! Which is why they want us for a torch and burn off. Keep Dr. Halsey's excavation data from falling into enemy hands. It hasn't already. Maybe, but according to Holland, the Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? Come on, come on, get in! Let's go, come on! Whoa.